What is up, peeps? Welcome back to the channel. An update on yesterday's story around BAMS, a Call of Duty creator with over a million subs who has been permanently banned from Call of Duty while live on stream. I just got perma banned. Like, I have nothing on my computer that would ever get me perma banned. Like, you guys know, like, I don't have shit on my computer. So I Imagine being false banned for being too good. LMAO, this can't be right, bro. Someone please explain to me. I can't perma banned. Maybe bad boy Beeman was onto something, dude. Maybe they are all cheating. Um, I think that draws to light that all of these people are cheating. With how good these cheats are and how bad Ricochet obviously is, I'm a little more on the side of like, there are probably some fairly large content creators that might be cheating. In the past, it was just a cat and mouse game between the hackers and the game devs. But now there is a clear winner. There's, there's just too many ways to, to sneak around and cheat there's too many ways there's so many things you can do i mean every day it's like a new way pops up or something like that you know what i mean like and then there's a bunch of ways where you can cheat and just be so low-key about it, nobody would ever fucking know how is this not auto flag just to let everyone know this guy has leveled up from level 1 to 19 just cheating and hasn't been banned and for those of you asking the account is still not banned it has a few skins and it has a little bot there are players that are on omit and there are players that have left omit that are the one percent of players, the 1% of the 1%, top earners that have had their account since season one that have not been banned. Same time, like okay. we gotta get every single person like you out of the scene ASAP because it, otherwise there is no future for Warzone in a competitive standpoint ever. Especially when you've got people cheating for a long time and their main account's not even getting banned. Now, we all know the Wagnificent is a Pimaban okay. cheater. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm not cheating. I'm not saying that I am cheating. Hey, guys. What's up? I'm going to show you how to spot a blatant cheater who's been permanently banned by Activision and still is accepted in the community. Now, this is where the cheat kicks in. He looks this way. The enemy is right here when he toggles and actually engages his cheats, when he looks this way, just like the guy looked to the right at him, he's gonna look to this hitbox. Here we go. Now look, for multiple frames, it's on a hitbox. Watch. Just stops right on the enemy, okay? Right? You can see that with your own eyes. Now watch, he knows the enemy's there. He looks over here. He knows the enemy's there. He looks over there. He's moving his aim off the enemy because he knows that there's no enemy to the left. So then what does he do? He goes straight for him and and ADSs before he even sees him and goes right after him. If you need more proof than that, you are the problem. You are supporting a cheater. It's undeniable. Stops. Stops. Off him. Now, now he's gunning him down with no knowledge, right? Oh, there's a hill. ADS. ADS perfect oh, nice. 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 One, more, one more, right next to him. No the bully, the bullet. No ends. The bully, the bullet. No ends. The bully, the bullet. Down. Nice. Watch. Just stops right on the enemy. Okay? Right? You can see that with your own eyes. With an aimbot settings, you'll find settings for not only how quick the target is centered, not only how hard the target is locked on, aka aim smoothing, and not only your aim FOV, meaning the area of which the aimbot will react to an enemy within its field of view, but you can also set how far out it will reach, meaning that if you have your ESP wall hack set up to show an enemy, say, within 500 meters, 
you'll see an enemy 500 meters or closer, and your aimbot will have the same type of setting as well, making your aimbot not react to any enemy past the desired distance, even if your ESP wall hex is set to a higher value. In this instance, you won't get any form of aim assistance or aimbot, nor will you get any form of automated recoil control. I ask no aim assist on this. Truly tragic. On orange? I ask no aim assist on this. Truly tragic. On orange? Kind of dead, right? Oh, I see him. Oh, I see him. Oh, I see him. I'm getting fried from the hill. I gotta drop. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing 5x5x and hit 5x5x permanently banned after being shadow banned. Did you see it? Did you guys see it? Look, for multiple frames, it's on a hitbox. We got to get every single person like you out of the scene ASAP because it, otherwise there is no future for Warzone in a competitive standpoint ever, especially when you've got people mm -hmm. cheating for a long time and their main accounts not even getting banned. Let's go and take a look at some of the things that have happened in the past to IQ. He's been well and truly exposed numerous times by a YouTuber called Tonezilla. So let's... Beamski, go land, 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 land.
If there's something my loyal supporters have known for a while, is that I enjoy watching these streamers who cheat expose themselves. Back. Beautiful reposition here coming out of IQ. Going to be in a 1v3 situation with the high ground. Going to take some shots to the first individual. Cracks the armor. Looking to get the situation with the high ground. Going to take some shots to the first individual. Cracks the armor. Looking to get the down. Somehow it has not down. Unbelievable. IQ is freaking out just as much as I am. I mean, I, I mean, cannot I mean, believe that guy did directly at me, bro. I think this is like my main build. And then we're gonna we're gonna body slam him real real quick too. Conclusion. And when you see all these Call of Duty dudes, all these gameplay movement gods, and all their gameplay looks the same. Their aim looks like as if it's just too good to be true. And when their gameplay looks just like people who have been banned or shadow banned accidentally, yeah, okay, like these other guys, I would make the conclusion that they're all cheating then. When something looks too good to be true, I think it is. And when you have these dudes, to repeat myself, to make the point very clear, Guys like Bams and other Faith Diffles and all these other dudes who have been permanently banned or have caught shadow bans or have questionable things happen to their account and their gameplay looks just like those who haven't been busted yet like Slan or, or Jayu or Symphony or any of these gameplay gods or any of these guys who are known to have elite gameplay. I would say that they're all cheating. They all stand to make so much money and gain so much by being good at a video game. I see it as a logical conclusion that a lot of them would take the route to cheat to be good at Call of Duty to gain financial success. And it's like, dude, how do you think IQ is cheating? Do you think IQ is cheating? Well, one, I'm not fucking with you. So there's that. No. Are you tired of me, man? I'm a little sick right now, and I swear. These nuts? Oh. 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 Yeah. Mm. 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 Mm.